Hey guys, it's Aaron. I wanted to take a look at what is becoming, quickly becoming, one of my favorite editing commands, and that is rotate. Um, I've used it a lot, and we've actually done videos on it before. There's the tool series where it talks about how to use rotate. It's part of the Welcome to SketchUp and the uh, introductory class on SketchUp Campus. There's even one on radial arrays. It's a great tool, but I've been using it more and more lately in place of things like mirror or cut and paste or even move. So I want to show you how I use the mirror command in SketchUp to modify geometry. Let's take a look. Okay, so here I have a square. It's just a little 10 foot by 10 foot square. And I'm going to say that I want to knock the corners off at 45 degrees, not put radiuses on them. If I put radiuses on them, uh, I can put them out once and then double click the other corners and that radius geometry will copy. If I want to put actually like 45, just a single line here, I don't have really a shortcut to do that. I have to actually take that geometry and copy it to the other corners. But this is where rotate's going to come into play and make it real easy to do. So let's, let's start this. Um, I'm going to start with this corner. So like I said, I just want one foot, one foot, and then a 45 between the two of them. So what I would normally do is come over here, draw a line this way, uh, 12 inches, enter, and there's my end point, 12 inches. Now what I could do is come here, click here, drag down another 12 inches, or, or I can use my rotate command right here. So I'm going to select this line, grab rotate, and I can click, hit the modifier key to make a copy. If I don't hit the modifier key, then I'm just going to drag this corner, and that's, that's not what I want. So hit the modifier key, option on Mac, control on Windows, bring that copy down here and snap it right onto the existing line. Placing that geometry on top of this geometry is going to, just like I have a snap point here, it's going to give me a snap point right here also. So I can click between the two. So how useful is that? How, how much time does that save versus just drawing a line down? I don't know. I guess it depends on what, what your, how, where you like to spend your time. <laughs> I have a shortcut key for rotate and uh, the modifier key is easy to hit. So for me, it's probably quicker to switch to rotate real quick and flip that down as opposed to type in 12 enter and then 12 enter. But that one, that one, you know, if you want to argue that, then I, I will, I will not, not go toe to toe with you on that one. But let's look at how we would put these onto the other corner. So I could come in and do the same thing. 12, 12, 45, 12, 12, 45, 12, 12, 45. I could do that to put all the corners on, but let's use rotate instead. So in order to rotate this, I do need to know where the middle of this is. So this is a square. I need to figure out where the middle is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to real quick draw a line like this, and then I'm going to go to the middle point and just drag a line out. And then I'm going to get rid of these. I don't want the geometry going into the corner because if I have geometry going in the corner, it's going to break this piece when I put it into this next corner. So I know this point right here is the middle. Um, I could have inferenced this depending on how I drew it. I drew this as a rectangle. If I drew this as a polygon square, I would actually have a snap point at the middle. So that's something that is worth considering next time. All right, so now I'm going to hit rotate and I'm going to click the middle and I'm going to grab this corner. Again, I'm going to make a mess if I don't hit the modifier key. So I'm going to hit option on Mac, control on Windows, bring it down here. Now, one thing I could do right now is I could make an array. So right now, before I do anything else, I could type 3x, telling it I want a total of three copies, and that'll put one on each side. But what happens if I'm going to go ahead and rotate this down? And what if this isn't actually a square? What if I have something like this? Now what do I do? Well, I can still use rotate here. All I have to do is figure out the midpoint of this line right here. So now this is a little bit of an issue because this point right here is not actually the midpoint of this shape. It's the midpoint of this cutoff 45 and this corner here. So the actual full length of this is this right here. If I have this value, 
all I have to do, if I have this line I can reference, I can use rotate again by going right here and rotating these two pieces along the green axes, flip them right over on top. This seems a little obscure. This seems like a weird forced example, but uh, it was the clearest example I could come up with for, as far as how to create this geometry. I know a lot of times when we talk about mirror geometry, the, the prevailing method is to chop the whole thing in half, make two components, invert one of the components and make all the editing on one side. And that makes a lot of sense if your geometry is more complex. If it's really simple, then sometimes using something like rotate or copying and inverting and placing are a little bit quicker. And I've found where, where in, in the past, what I would have done is probably grab these two, gone to move, modifier key, copy them over here, go to scale, invert them to negative one, negative one, there we go, and then drag them from the corner back onto here. I probably would have done something like that. Using that rotate command though, means I can do the whole thing a lot quicker. Okay, so this is, this is like I said, this is kind of a simple example, and this is uh, a lot of, I did a lot of talking to do what is a really simple process, knocking those corners off. Let's take a look at doing this on a little bit bigger geometry, like real geometry, 3D geometry. So I'm gonna say I wanna do the same thing. I wanna knock my corners off, so I'm gonna have little, little triangles on each of the corners that are based off of one foot lines. So same thing, I'll come here, draw my line this way, one foot, then I'm gonna grab that line, and again, my shortcut key just lets me come here, modifier key, click there, and then that new line is highlighted so I can come on the red axes, click here, modifier key, drop that down. Oops. Modifier key, drop that down. And then I can connect those three pieces and that is the geometry I'm looking for. Now I have to place that, I wanna put that uh, on all four sides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it, I'm gonna go rotate, and here I'm just gonna infer uh, my center point. So I'm gonna drag, there's the, the I wanna make sure I use this line and this line to find the middle because again, these two lines have been shortened by one foot. So if I come to the middle point of this side, drag a line out, middle point of this side, drag a line out, and I'm gonna find the middle point right there. Now I can just grab any side, modifier key, copy to here, and then I'll type 3x, and I'll get that on each side. So there we go, I, I did half my cube right there. Nice. Now I gotta get those same four corners down underneath. So I can do the same thing here to drop them down. I'm gonna, gonna use uh, rotate, to rotate them on this face. The issue I come up with here again, so I'm gonna grab, I'm just gonna grab all of it. It doesn't hurt to put this face on top of the face down below. And what I wanna do is use rotate now to go to the middle and then spin that around. The issue I run up against again is, so I can inference the middle of this horizontal line, but my vertical lines are all shortened by a foot. So what I can do is draw a temporary line. I'm just gonna draw a line here, drop it straight down. See that these pieces stay highlighted while I go in and out of draw. So draw line doesn't unselect. Then I can go to rotate, click right here, midpoint, click top, modifier key, swing it underneath, and then I can erase this, 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 and this. Missed one. So there you go. Just a look at some different ways you can use a command that maybe you wouldn't normally use uh, to speed the process up. And I know, like I said, anytime we do these explanation videos, you're like, that wasn't speedy. That took minutes to do. And I know there's a lot of talking in there. But really, if you have that shortcut key and you can quickly hit that modifier key, a lot of times it's quicker and easier to rotate geometry if, it's, if there's an easy spot to find as far as that center point. That's the big issue with all of this is finding that point to rotate around. So if you do have that, it can be a lot quicker to use rotate as opposed to like moving and modifying or mirroring geometry. Did you like that? If so, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create a lot of videos around here and you'll be notified of their launch if you subscribe on YouTube. Most importantly though, 
please leave us a comment. Most of our content comes from comments nowadays from viewers just like you. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something that you want to see. Thank you.